Hello makers, welcome to my 3D printing YouTube channel 3D Genesis. Today I would like to show you the new 3D printer from Focustech, the Focus Odin Smart. Let's talk about the key features of this machine. Focus promising 6 times faster printing and maximal speed of 300 mm per second. Well, for fast prototyping it should be a perfect option. We will talk about it later. This 3D printer has a built-in camera, so we are able to record nice time-lapse clips, which I'll show you in the course of the video. Full Metal Ultra Direct Extruder is on board, which is not adjustable. It is foldable, like the predecessor Orin 5. And we have a self-test function, like the Prusa printers, which is nice. Now we are proceeding with unboxing. You can skip this part if it's too boring for you. We're taking our 3D printer out and remove those shipping protections. There is a 200 gram filament spool and accessory box which contains the spool holder, power cable, screws and all necessary tools. USB drive was sadly missing, so I had to use my own. We only need 4 screws to assemble the printer, so it's easy as a pie. Next we fix the spool holder, then we adjust the print bed and belt tensions. That's it. Before we start to print I would like to talk about the issues which I already noticed. So first I'm a little worried about the flex cable. I'm sure it will break after time. To compare you can see the flex cable on the Focus Odin 5 here. The housing of the printer is painted unclean, but I think it's because it's a test unit. The control knob is also missing. Focus Tech sent me an STL file, so I can print one by myself. The Z-axis works with a double rod, but only with one stepper motor, which is a little weird. I think it's a downgrade and not an advantage. Dual rods are synchronized by a too long belt. Even after trying to adjust it, it's loose. It is a Kickstarter pre-sale unit. I hope Focus will solve these issues. Now we are gonna check the menu and start our first print. We have the basic functions here like print, settings, load or unload filament. The new one is the self-test. After I hit the check button to test the printer functions, it instantly failed. So I restarted the printer and repeat the process. This time the self-test was succeeded. There is an LED light on the print head that can be controlled. A Wi-Fi function which is not really working right now. After leveling and feeding filament, I started the first print. It's a Benchy board which should print with 300 mm per second. It should, but it's not. It's looking like maximal 100 mm per second. So I need to do more testing. I sliced this watering can with 300 mm per second speed and started the G-code on the Odin Smart and also on the Odin 5. The Odin Smart finished the print after 53 minutes and the Odin 5 after 57 minutes. Sadly, it's not 6 times faster like Focus Tech said. So I asked Focus what's wrong. They told me the firmware is limiting the speed and they sent me a fast Cura profile. So I sliced the files again and this is the result.
Next, let's check the timeless function. The setup is very simple, just download the app from App Store and follow the connecting instructions. The G-code files can be printed from camera's SD card, so let's have a look at the time lapses. As you can see, the time-lapse mode needs much improvement. After asking Focus, they said they are working on it. Now the print quality. Print quality is very similar to the Odin 5, which is very impressive. I have nothing to complain. I will post several print short clips with the Odin Smart on my YouTube channel soon, so you can see more prints. My conclusion. The printer is called smart. One smart function is missing, the auto bed leveling. I was hoping to use the printer to print timelapse short videos, but unfortunately the camera quality doesn't allow it. The future will show how the missing Z motor makes itself felt. I am generally satisfied with the print quality. I know, focus and I am sure they will improve this printer. It is a still a pre-sale unit. I hope you like this review. If you have any questions, just type them in the comment section. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. See you soon friends.